In algebra, there's usually more than one way to express a value. I'm going to look, we're going to be looking at two different ways. One is a factored form and one is a distributed form. So in our situation, for a night out, you have a group of friends who are going to be participating in a mini golf arcade night. Now there's a play package that's set up for individuals to purchase. And in that play package, you get two rounds of golf, so 2G, and 20 tokens, 20T, with a $3 off value. Now, this is the play package. Then what you need to consider is, well, how many people are going to be getting this play package? You're going to have this value six times. This form right here is the factored out form, where an individual value is expressed, and then it shows how many times that value is going to occur. In a situation like this, this value would represent the individual cost to the, the people partaking in this activity. Now, if you happen to be a person who's then paying for all of your friends to go out, you're not necessarily worried about the individual cost. You want to know the total cost and what you get for that. So then what you would do is distribute the six into all the terms inside your parentheses. So six times two is 12. So you get 12 rounds of golf. Six times 20, 120 tokens. And six times negative three is $18 off. So as the person paying for the whole group, this would be the expression you'd be interested in. Set one represents individual cost. Option two represents group cost. This is the factored form. This is the distributed form. I can't take this expression any further until I'm given values for my variable or given an end, end value, what the total cost would be, and then maybe I can work some stuff out. But in this unit, it's not asking us to solve the expression. So this is question number one. Question number two had a soccer team, a group of soccer team kids, going out to the movies. So each kid that went bought a ticket and two popcorns. Again, this is what is being purchased. And then how many times did that occur? 13 times. This expression is letting you see individual cost. Then if we go and distribute that, 13 times t, 13t, and 13 times 2 for 36p, this expression gives you the group cost. These, in both of these situations, the same value is being represented. It's just being represented in various ways. So this is what the activity is asking you to do. Represent one value two different ways, and then identify what the purpose of that expression is, or when I would use that expression, what that's letting me, what that's letting me know. 